them. So yes, I'm wearing the same clothes, but <laughs> it is the next day. I woke very, very late. It is like noon. I fell asleep at 5 a.m. So um, I have had seven hours of sleep, so that's good. I also had a lot and a lot of dreams and I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I want to sleep some more. And then I remembered I really, really have to do my grocery shopping for like Christmas. It is going to get like really, really, really busy. Only one more day to Christmas. Tomorrow is going to be like the really big boom, but I am going to not go to the store tomorrow. So I want to avoid that. So I have to go today. I have planned out everything that I'm going to eat for Christmas because me and my dietitian we have this um, or well she dared me to like try to enjoy Christmas and not restrict in like just eating the same regular old things try to have a snack try to do enjoy it but also try to not overdo it so I planned everything out because that gives me rest I don't want to be unsure about what I am going to eat in a right mind frame I want to uh, decide like okay I can eat this and this and this and then when Christmas comes and I'm really stressed and insecure about like am I not eating like too much is it is it okay I want to be sure about that so that's why I made a list. I have been bingy like yesterday, the day before that and the day before that. So the last three days and it has been pretty hard but also like I do have some items in my house and I didn't binge on them. So I'm really glad that I overcame it and since I am not binging like I am constantly just picking even as I was talking, like I'm picking my skin. You can see it like in my face. There are some spots like right there, right here, right there. I am just um, picking my skin a little more, especially on my legs. It's really bad on my legs, my upper legs. But um, so far so good. Am I afraid of having a binge during the holidays? Um, yes, I am. Uh, so I'm going, of course, to try to not have a binge, but it's really, really hard, especially with Christmas and New Year's Eve. I, I have to find some balance and I want to find some balance. So I am going to buy some chocolate and some goodies today. I am going to leave them like downstairs in my storage room because that's something that really, really works for me so that I not like be in a temptation of like, <gasps> I'm going to eat all the chocolate. I also have two packets of cookies like have in my house. I normally don't keep stuff like that in my house. I got them yesterday. My parents visited and they had these cookies with them so I am also going to bring them to my storage room so that I can not binge on those and the only thing that I have left in my house are some drinks which is okay and I also discovered that I still have like one of the food items that I wanted to taste test in my house I'm going to leave them but I'm going to get rid of all the other temptations um so yeah a lot of talking let's just go and do something the reason that I want to go like now at noon is because I really like my bread and I have planned out that I am able to eat some bread or well, oh, some bread. I'm able to eat bread for Christmas. In order to get some really nice bread, I have to go as soon as possible. Like if you go at like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m., like almost all the bread is gone. And especially like I want those little fluffy white buns. If I wait like for another two or three hours, they will be gone, especially around this time. So I really need to get to like the bakery section of my grocery store really, really quick because that's the first thing that's sold out. So let's just do that. I'm going to have breakfast really quick. And also I'm going to not move my Santa guy for a change because I moved it yesterday on like live stream but I don't know we're just going you know I'm, I'm attached to moving him not to you Santa not to you don't get wrong ideas in your head that's what you get Santa that's what you get okay so I am back with my breakfast shake you cannot see it okay I'll show you my delicious super yummy breakfast shake or well at least I think so something that I also wanted to say I told you that I had been like bingy for like the last three days and the first day on where I was bingy it was really like a mental one I have a list in my cabinet there's a video on it somewhere like reasons for me to binge I think it's called if you want to go watch that I would recommend it if you haven't seen it it is this list with causes that make me binge because every binge that I have you can put it in one of like five different reasons one of the reason is like I just feel like shit I feel sluggish I feel horrible I just want to binge and that's the most horrible one to overcome so it's really really hard to keep yourself from binging when you're in that state everything has been leading up to it so it's so hard to just like keep it back um yeah but that was the first day and I was able to uh, not do it eventually I did have like I wouldn't call it a binge because I like I didn't slip into a binge but I did a little overeating but I had nothing
anything in my house that day. So the only thing that I did eat was I had two boiled eggs. I had like six pickles, like not the big ones, just regular normal pickles. And I had like a little bit of cheese. So it wasn't that bad. It, calorie wise, it wasn't even overeating, but like I was struggling and I don't see it as overeating. I don't see it as a binge, but it was like a binge like mind frame in where I decided to have it and to go to the kitchen and to actually make it stuff like that but that one was a really really it was a mental one really clearly to me and then the other two especially the one that I had yesterday the urge to oh my god I want I, I have those cookies can I eat the cookies I have this in my house can I maybe eat, eat that yesterday was really more of like binge thoughts because of me eating too little and that's something that I want to be beware of because that's also one of the reasons of my list I have not eaten enough I have skipped a meal so my body is hungry and because of that I start to think like oh my god I want food I want something delicious I keep thinking about that and sometimes that eventually erupts into a binge that one it's way easier to overcome it's not super easy but it is way easier to overcome in comparison with the mental one so just for myself I analyzed it and I wanted to like draw a difference between those two because there's a really really big difference so so far I'm really really happy that I didn't give in to the binging but I do notice like okay so the last two days I have been like bingy because of eating too little. So today I wanted to make it my goal to at least eat 1800 calories. So I really want to, especially lunch. Lunch is really, really hard for me right now because like I said, it's 12.30. I have woken up too late and I went to bed too late. So it, it gets messy in my head. I want to try to at least eat 1800, preferably like 2000, because I want the binge thoughts to go away. Eating too little doesn't help and not having any routine also doesn't help. So that's my goal today. I'm starting with my 450 calorie breakfast shake. I uh, oh, I don't like eating in the morning, so this really, really helps me. Let's eat that first, and then I'm going to plan on what I'm going to eat after I come back from the store, because I don't want to be stalling it too long, because we have been like 15 minutes into like, since since I have been filming for the first time. So let's drink it, let's go to the store. I'll take you with me. Okay, so something that is funny, this pants that I'm wearing, it doesn't have any pockets. And so I keep my phone in like my uh, pants uh, band. <laughs> But yeah, it works. Let's go. Okay, so these are the cookies that I was talking about that I had laying around in my house. These are just like very basic cookies with some dark chocolate and some sprinkles. So that's the first packet. And then the second packet is this one. It's this like, um, how do you call that? Merengue. And I don't think there's even like a cookie in it. No, it's just some merengue pushed into like a little bit of dark chocolate. It's not my favorite, but they are very Christmassy. So I'm going to just put them on the table for Christmas because my sister's coming over and I already told her like everything that's left please like take it with you because I don't want to keep this in my house I do have some items that I'm able to just keep in my house and finish the next day if like there's something left I made an agreement with myself about that but these two they are just going to stay in my car I was planning on like uh, putting them in my storage room but in my car like that's also fine so I'm going to just dump them in the back of my car and I'm going to leave them there till like Christmas but yeah let's go into the store it is raining though like I don't know if you can hear it I don't want to go, but let's go anyway. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so these are the buns that I meant to buy. They're very like fluffy, soft, cute buns. They are about like 109 calories per piece, I think. These are the ones that I want to have, so let's grab them. Okay, so this is something that I would definitely buy. This is a trigger food for me, like during binging, and I was contemplating like, do I want to have this? Do I want to get it? But I'm like, yeah, just like, this is not a Christmas item. Just like put them away really, really quick and go. So this item is on my list. I wanted to buy it. Talita really loves it. I do like it too, and it's really Christmassy, so let's get it. Also, like, look at all the bread. They made so much bread, probably because of Christmas. Also, like, a lot of fresh baguettes. I love it. I am going to grab some croissants. You can just bake these at home. I also, like, decided on eating this. I had them on my list, so let's get them. Some more cat litter. You can never have enough, especially not with four cats. I also needed some plastic wrap, but they don't have the one that I normally buy. So I'm going to just get this one. It's so stupid that things like these, like, things that are on your list are out of stock, that it causes you stress, but whatever. Let's just get this one. This one was also on my list. I thought about it. I uh, decided to get one. This one is also on my list as like uh, a dessert for me, my sister and her husband on Christmas day. Let's get it. I am also getting some of this stuff like ground, uh, not 
beef, ground pig, I think, because of like the little pig on there. So let's get this too. Also on my list, some bread toppings, one of my favorites. So this stuff, and it is two for four euros. I'm also going to get this one. It says like uh, spicy tuna, some ASMR. I am going to buy this thing. It's this uh, thing with just instant powdered gravy. Really, really easy and I ran out. So let's get that too. Some mushrooms, arugula, a bag of spinach, some garlic, and that's about everything that we needed. Or well, not everything we needed, but everything this store has because the rest, they don't have it. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I am in the car. I am just trying to figure out like which stuff that has to be in the car because I don't want to eat it before Christmas during a binge and what stuff I can take like with me. Some items that I did not show but did buy at the end of like my uh, grocery haul chip. Chip, chip, what the fuck. I was looking through the store for these things because these things I really associate them with Christmas and they were on my list So I was able to like buy them, but I couldn't find them And then when I wanted to pay I saw them like at the cachet and I was like, oh my god I'm so happy that they had them. They just had a few left. So um, these are just little filled wreaths I think it's the name. This is what they look like They're super yummy and like I said, I really associate these with Christmas and this was one of the items that I was like If I want to eat anything for Christmas like from candy and stuff This is something that I really really want because they only sell it around this time of year So on my list I wrote that I was able to get two of them and I didn't I got three So that's I went a little bit overboard with that because I did buy something that wasn't on my list I also have like the star ones and these ones. I don't know. It was like on a whim I just wanted to buy the two packets and then I saw these and I was like, oh my god, they do have stars I've never eaten stars just like excuses and stupid reasons but i ended up buying three i have made that choice and i'm just going to deal with it right now it's it's okay it's fine and then on my list i also had some chocolates i really wanted to buy like santa and uh, snowman chocolates but i didn't sell them so instead i bought these these are pretty like they're pretty expensive and they're pretty um like chic they're not like the usual chocolate i go for because they're more expensive but i wanted to make it a little bit more special for christmas and also like they are portioned in very very little pieces the little like filled wreaths all the chocolate and then the two packets of cookies that i showed earlier i'm just going to platter that and i'm going to serve that as like a snack platter and like at the evening of christmas eve no not christmas eve like the day of christmas and then the evening of christmas so not the eve before christmas but christmas eve itself like you know what I mean. So this is what I'm going to plate and then afterwards everything that's left my sister and her husband are going to take like the leftover cookies and then all that's left over from the chocolate and this stuff that's something that I will be eating together with these chips that I also bought like last minute and the kinder chocolate that you saw me buy. So I have planned a day where I can have some snacks I can have the leftover stuff I can have some chips and I can have some chocolate. That's what I planned for myself I was also planning on getting a tub of Ben and Jerry's but I didn't sell the right one so I think I'm just going to skip it uh, we'll see. I'm not going to the store like tomorrow nope there's no freaking way that i'm going to the store because it's going to be so busy so this is what i have planned and then this was on my list let's see okay so it says like gravy plastic foil cat litter and bananas well bananas i already had them and the rest i got then for breakfast christmas day i have some like buns some chicken samba salad some tuna salad and then also some arugula then some bake at home croissants i also have them for dinner ingredients for my lasagna also have that some tiramisu also have that then for snacks like i said i have some christmas chocolates they didn't sell them but i got like the other chocolates instead uh, some butter almond paste pastry i also got that some chocolate milk i already have that so i didn't have to buy that some christmas wreaths well i bought three packets as you saw and let's see and then for the second christmas day some kinder chocolates and pringles i got them not the right like flavor but that's okay and also a pint of ben and jerry's that's the only thing that i didn't buy but but we'll see about that so um i got everything so do you remember i went grocery shopping i think like last week and i showed you that i bought this energy drink for myself and you might have noticed i did not show myself drinking it that is because i came home 
and I searched all my bags and I did not find my energy drink snack that I bought for myself. And I was pretty sad about it. I did pay for it and I think I just forgot it. So I went to like their service thingy and I said like, yeah, I was here last week. It has been a while, but I bought this drink on Saturday and I forgot about it like in the store. I probably just left it somewhere and she was like very, very kind. I did not show any tickets or whatever. She said like, no, it's okay. Like I do believe you, you can go and grab one. So really, really, really good service. So I do have like my little snack after all. Let's go upstairs and take everything upstairs and have myself some sugar-free energy drink. I really, really want to have that energy drink. Hello, MFM. So I tidied up my house, my place, because I am having a visitor later tonight. So yeah, I just wanted to tidy it a little bit. Oh my God, look at this huge mountain of fruit. So, so much fruit. And then here is my little studio area. It's all like, okay, it didn't fall down like during the night, so that's okay. So right now I am going to take a shower and after that I'm going to have some dinner. And I did skip lunch again. Okay, so that's really, really funny, but my friend asked me if I could help him with wrapping some gifts for uh, his family, but I am out of tape. So the only tape that I do have is this stuff, which I use to like hang all my stuff on my wall, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> Let's just use this. Uh, as you saw, like in my last video, I ran out of tape, so I have to use this. Hello, I'm fam. So this is what I'm going to eat. It's just the same thing as yesterday. Some pasta, some ground beef and some veggies. So that's it. Bon appetit. Eat smaklik. Okay, so... Oh my god. Cat hair, cat footprints. Better late than never, but I am having a third little meal. Two slices of bread with some cheese, as in like a grilled cheese sandwich. I will be eating it with a little bit of ketchup and that will be it. Like I said, better late than never. It is ready. Oh my god, listen to this sound. Hello, I'm Fem. So I am here to end the video. I feel as if this one was a really, really short one, but I don't know. Like, I think that every time and then I'm editing and I'm like, oh, so there's pretty, like, there's a lot of footage. So we'll see. Yip, yip. Hey, don't do that. Come on. <laughs> So I had a good night and I forgot to tell you, but I had a few of these thingies. This is what they look like. It's like chocolate from Ireland, I think. This is what they look like, just like little chunks of chocolate and like the center, like in the inside. It is supposed to look like this. So yeah, I had a few of those. I think that's about it. It's so weird, like it's December 23rd and it has been like past midnight so officially it's like uh christmas like the day before christmas so christmas eve will be tonight really really weird so far i'm doing pretty like okay i have been down for like the past i don't know like two weeks but it's it's okay it's manageable so that's good and we'll see so tomorrow i have a pretty busy day i have to make my lasagna i also want to like record something for you guys so my sister's coming over i also like finally i'm going to hang like all these cabinets so i'm really really excited about that and um yeah also a lot of editing of course so we will see about that but like i said i'm going to end the video here thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it have a nice day wherever you are and i'll hopefully see you in the next one bye lamfam you're the night sky trying to make me see your stars